ceramics students, this is Miss Yop, and I am going to give you your fourth challenge. So this week your focus is about making patterns and designs either with natural objects outside or everyday objects inside. So those of you who your parents aren't really letting you outside, you can do this project fine. Um, and those of you who want to spend more of your time outside or even take a little walk and find objects for this, and um, then it's perfect for you too. All right, so I'm gonna go through the slideshow. Just like last week, you will have access to the slideshow in Google Classrooms. But the video is for instructional purposes so that you get a better understanding of, of what I want you to do. Okay, so I have all the steps here for you. Now, if you choose not to watch this video and you turn in something that's halfway done, then I'm going to know because you missed some steps. This should be very clear. So first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna figure out which artist you want to uh, be inspired by, is what I should say. So we have Andy Goldsworthy, who is extremely famous. He does uh, amazing environmental art, uh, does these installations that fit the unique um, areas in nature. He takes uh, plants and just finds a way to create a design that's natural looking, but not done by nature. It's really, it's really some cool stuff there. And then we have Adam Hillman, who is an Instagram uh, photographer, and he does uh, work with everyday objects and a lot of times with food. So you're gonna look at his work, um, then you're going to choose one of them. Like you're either going to do the outdoor stuff or you're going to do the indoor stuff pretty much. All right. So you don't have to do both. And it looks like I have a typo in this slideshow. So I will fix that before I put it out on Google Classrooms. All right. Then you're going to create your own unique uh, arrangement. Do not steal from the Internet, please. Don't don't do that. Don't give me a picture from the Internet. Um because, uh, well, it's stealing, it's not your work, you didn't put any time other than doing a quick Google search, all right? Um, photograph your design, but also include your initials in the photo. Uh, don't scribble it on with uh, some sort of digital pen afterwards. I want it in the picture. Please do that. This will be really tough if you shoot this and you forget this part. It's like putting your name on your, your artwork. I need to know that you did it. So you do not have to put your name right in the middle. It's kind of distracting. You know, if you're working with natural objects, you can put your name, like if you're working with rocks, you can take a piece of chalk or even another rock, a lighter rock, and scratch your initials into it um, and put it on the side. You can do it with a little piece of paper with your initials. Don't need your class period. I just need that in there, but I also don't want it to destroy the look of your overall design. Okay, then you are gonna submit your photo into uh, the assignment in Google Classrooms. You don't have to use a slide, just submit the JPEG. Um, if possible, please make sure it's a JPEG. The newer iPhones seem to be using this, um, I think it's supposed to be a better format. It's spelled H-E-I-C. I don't know how you pronounce it. Heck, I don't know. But um, a, a lot of the Google, um, like the Google Docs and the slides, they don't really understand. So if I want to put this into slides, I'm not going to be able to use your picture. All right, so JPEG if possible. And then how do you fix it? How do you make sure it's a JPEG? You go to your settings in your phone and you check out what your camera settings are. And it should say JPEG and probably ask you if you want it large, medium, small, that kind of thing. All right. Okay. So here are your two options. And you remember, you only need to pick one. Okay. So we have working with your natural materials. You can look again at Andy Goldsworthy's work. Um, you can see the student example. Uh, you're going to go and arrange them. You might do a radial design, radial design where everything comes from the center, kind of like the sun. You might do something um, more like a spiral. Um, there's so many options. Now, I'm not really showing you that many of his images here because you can just go on Google and you can find a billion of them. 
right? Take several pictures. Don't just take one picture and then that will give you the option to um, use one of them and check your pictures before you, you know, basically just let the wind take your project away. You want to make sure that you're not, you don't have a shadow of your camera over the picture. That was happening a lot with the last assignment where the sun was behind you. So just make sure your pictures are good because that's part of your grade. So here's some examples. If you click on this link here, it's going to take you to an article in US Art News on him. There's some junk in there too, so just be careful about what you push. And for some reason, it's not letting me move it around. Mm, okay, I'm going to fix that link then. All right, we're going to go back here. Okay, so here's some work. He's working on this uh, flagstone piece and then rocks changing size, space between them. I mean, again, just a couple examples of his work. He also has some work in the Presidio. So if you ever want to go to San Francisco and you want to do a social distancing walk, you can walk this. I believe it's still open um, because people live around there. They can't really close off everything but you can walk the Presidio and you can find his pieces and see his work. His work is always changing because he builds them and then he lets nature kind of tear them apart. He doesn't tear them, like the wind, water, rain is slowly destroying this, this circular piece on the side. There are a couple of videos in the presentation too. Um, I think they're both fairly short. So, um, one, he talks about the Presidio work, and he's older in this one because this is one of his most recent works. And then there's a famous movie called Rivers and Tides that I used to show to my middle school students many, many years ago. And um, you can find the full length uh, movie on Amazon Prime. It used to be on Netflix. I don't see it on there now. Uh, but it could possibly be on there. It is, um, it's just very peaceful. He talks about his process. He's outdoors. Um, there is, there are um, a lot of animals in it. There is a birthing scene of, I believe, a lamb. But, um, you know, it's, it's a pretty interesting video. So these links should work for you. All right, so moving on to our next artist. This is Adam Hillman. Again, he's an Instagram artist. So you probably have seen his work. Um, you're gonna look around your house, find things that you have multiples of. Like I said, paper clips, pencils, color pencils, markers, crowns, um, and it can be food objects. Maybe you are, you have a candy collection, maybe, you know, chips, whatever. Similar shapes, similar colors, or maybe very different colors. Um, something where you're playing around with color, you're playing around with um, the the shape of the objects, and you're making these designs. Now, you do not have to destroy anything in the process. That is totally up to you. Everything can stay how it is. You do not have to use food. I know this is a weird time to be using food to make art when so many people need food. Um, but um, you can make a piece and then use the food in you know your actual dinner it just it's not the same as the make it or break it assignment and it's not the same as the color wheel assignment even though you're about to see a lot of color all right so let's see you got to make sure that they're they're multiple so it doesn't have to be all one object but um similar so uh, these are examples of things that are basically the same object, just different colors. So it seems like it's the color wheel project, but it's not, okay? Um, again, a link to an article on him. Let's see if it lets me, no? Okay, I gotta fix it too. All right, I'll go back to that in a minute, okay. But it does go to, on the next slide, we have these videos uh that show his work so i'm going to play this one really quick just a little bit and you can see how his work is uh, say visually satisfying and that's the thing that's what he does he comes up with clever designs with everyday objects um i'm gonna stop this okay um i do want you if you choose to do this assignment you need to watch both these videos 
right? Uh, this one is the same assignment. Um, this teacher who uh, is, um, she created her own uh, instructional video. It's just a few minutes long. I want you to watch it because she's going to cover more than I'm covering right now. I just didn't want to repeat exactly what she did uh, because she already she did a good job already. So I would like you to watch both of them, please. OK, how is this going to be graded? Well, uh, creativity and originality of design. I mean, I want you to come up with play around with the objects and see what you can come up with. You know, if you're going with the Andy, Gold, Andy Goldsworthy piece, then where you do it is important too. the environment, the space you do it in is just as well. It's pretty important, just as important as the objects you're using. So if you're doing a pathway of leaves in your yard, you know, you could um, go around the tree and come around um, the front of another plant or whatever your yard looks like. Um, you can actually go out and do this project uh in a space where it's okay for you to walk i want to say the park but you probably can't be at the park um so you just want to make sure that it's a natural environment do not do the andy goldsworthy piece in your kitchen in your living room it needs to be outside okay um same thing is with the the adam hillman uh if you're you want to do everyday objects that one should be really inside it needs to be kind of a clean environment so you're not distracted please don't have brightly colored uh maybe if you put it on a blanket or on carpet i don't want the carpet to distract so, so a piece of paper white piece of paper no lines unless the lines are there to help you with your design to make sure you keep things straight um you know uh, maybe a countertop that's just really clean um, some of these are food, so they're in nice, clean plates or bowls. Uh, you just have to make sure that there's no pattern on the plate or bowl that's going to distract. OK, you might have a pattern that works. So really look at it, figure out what's going to look cool. I mean, you could potentially put these on Instagram. You can also, you know, it would be fun to have you make a video in TikTok of you putting this together. But in the end, what I want is a photo. All right, I would love all the other things too, but a photo is how I'm gonna be grading these. And it needs to be clear and sharp and you wanna make sure your angle's right. So if you, you're doing a spiral design, make sure you can tell it's a spiral. So maybe shoot it from the top instead of just shooting it from the side. Make sure your feet aren't in the way, your hands, uh, unless the dog's part of the picture or somehow in the design. Your dog should not be in the picture. That's right, Riley. You're not allowed to be in the picture this time. And um, that's what I'm looking for. So you can review this rubric. I think I'm pretty clear in it. But, you know, as always, if um, you need some help or some, you need me to clarify something, you should definitely email me. Um, and this week, um, I have to go take care of some family stuff. Uh, because I'm really the only one going out and grocery shopping and, and, and I'm retrieving my father's medication. I have to make sure I do this tomorrow. So I'm not going to have any, um, any Google hangs hangouts tomorrow. Um, and I'm going to reschedule also my ones on Wednesday. So just keep an eye out for that because, um, I have a feeling I'm going to need part of Wednesday to, to, uh, uh, finish these, these jobs. Um, all right. Well, you guys stay safe and I look forward to seeing all your amazing work. Um, yeah. All right.